uh, straight now to Oyo State, where the governor, Shi Makinde, has attributed the successes of his administration from 2019 to the present to the absence of political godfathers in the state. The governor said this during his address to the State House of Assembly. Now, Makinde, who maintains that he runs a pro people government, boasted that his administration has been able to increase the state revenue from 4.2 billion in 2022 to 4 or 4.9 billion in the first quarter of this year. This is always my argument with the uh, federal government. Uh, we want uh, uh, autonomy for the local government. Uh, the governors are the ones uh, 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 misusing local government money. Uh, the governors are the ones uh, getting uh, additional money from uh, FAC. You know, it's a case of uh, 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 Ketu calling uh, pot black because if, I mean, any money that comes into the federation account is shared between the federal government, the state government, and the local government. So, and the federal government takes, uh, uh, I believe, 52 percent of that money. So if 28 percent are suddenly gone up, what will happen to 52 percent? We're taking from the same pot. Meanwhile, the governor ordered the grading of 30 kilometers of inner road to cross all the 33 local government areas, a move aimed at reviving the state economic fortunes. As legislators, we shall not rest on our oars in ensuring that the dividend of democracies are delivered to the people of our dear place setting states. Let me at this junction state that whatever fits we have accomplished whatever achievement we have recorded within one year is not without the unflinching support and cooperation of His Excellency Governor Shei Makinde, who is taking governance to a higher level of quality, impact, and effectiveness. For this administration, I'll continue to say it. Yes, we'll uh, continue our drive uh, for. Uh, bridging the infrastructural deficit in the state, but we're not going to be defined by the infrastructure that we're building. We are going to be defined by the institutions that we're putting in place to ensure that whatever happens, Oyo State can continue to drive, to thrive. We can continue to survive. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.